All right, guys, you've been wondering. There are actually three more locals in the Papa's locker we have to go. And guess who are they? They are Isadora, Treble, and Amir. And Amira. So eventually, what I was going to say is that let's go through one of them. All right. So basically in the game, eventually, this is the first game where they actually have six customers starting in Papa's Hot Dog Ria, which is the web game. So eventually, what I was going to say is that, uh, let me read this one to you guys, okay? Let me read this one to you. So, eventually, what I was going to say is that there are actually like six customers in this game, but unfortunately, it says this. It's, this is the first game since Papa's Hot Doggeria to debut six new customers. So eventually, let's go through one of them to see who are they. So the first one we actually got is Isadora. So Isadora is actually a female customer. She eventually favors New Year. So what I'll just do thing about Isadora. Wow, she just looks like cute she definitely does look like a doll you know like in my ba in my personal opinion all right don't want to get too far next up we have treble so treble is actually a non-binary customer and she's eventually making making her first appearance in papa's cluckeria to go now there was actually like a question to say this is treble rudy's mother unfortunately she's not well according to his flip according to the flip deck on Rudy's flip deck card, his mother worked at the amusement park, headlining a variety show at the park's now shut at theater. So eventually, Treble is not Rudy's mother. So eventually, what I was gonna say is that Rudy definitely does have an unnamed mother. So eventually, guys, if you go through that comment right here, it apparently says like, um, you're not allowed to like add anything. So eventually, I'm not really gonna like say or mention anything to you, all right? According to Matt and Tony, I would just say you're not allowed to like put like anything which is like you no know, relatives, um, basically unknown or just say like unnamed something something. I'll just say it's like not the best I can really really express, you know, you know that. And next up we got um Aimira. She's actually a female customer and she favors Comic Con. So eventually here's her style B. She's actually wearing like a uh, green coat and green laces she definitely does like pistachio you know like she definitely likes uh pistachio okay so eventually for Trevor's one since i already went through that that Trevor isn't rudy's mother so eventually i don't have to worry about it now and as you may know about flip decks they recently just update their flip deck saying they don't have like any realities or they do like have any realities but doesn't matter though now what I was going to talk to you about again is Day of the Dead. So eventually Day of the Dead is actually celebrated in October but sometimes November. This, this holiday apparently featured black, purple, orange, turquoise and red. So each of the closers will actually wear the, the Daryl Dunn Mortos makeup. Closers would normally wear that, similar to Halloween. So Wyland B is actually wearing it, but he's not unlocked as a clo not unlocked as a customer. So Maggie and Mitch apparently have their own costumes. I do see a uh, uh, Franco, which apparently does have like uh, this costume, you know, like that costume. And I would just say I think that could be all. Like I don't know about Willow. Apparently, haven't like gone through the page of Willow, but definitely, guys. I'll just say like. Um, maybe that was actually the case that why Willow apparently, uh, favors, um, uh, October holidays. So we don't know yet. Maybe Willow's gonna have a costume. Maybe Willow isn't gonna have a costume. I don't know. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. According to my opinion. So apparently, what I was gonna say is that I'm not too sure. But maybe Willow does celebrate the holiday, but she doesn't have like a costume, you know. But I do believe um, that there's actually like a lot of customers right here. I've noticed the KCP winners have been uh, in random. Sometimes they've been filler, you know, like that. So eventually, when Dare the Dead begins at rank 21, Now Time News tunes in for an update. 
Duke Gotcha had to inform that Mortar Devil's bird meat has been shut down due to a number of health violations. So eventually, the chicken sandwich wars were moving into a non bird meat such as pork. So Pally is also able to take the bot was home for robots and has nowhere else to go. So eventually, as you may know about Guy Mortadello, he's actually the crabby chef who apparently stole Rudy and Scarlet's instruments. Now eventually what I was going to say is that Rudy hates Guy Mortadello according to his flip deck. So eventually, I was actually right all along that he was actually a crabby crabby chef. But there's actually going to be the next part coming up, which is the new Coops, Mixers, Mr. Mart, Crumple Sisters in Court, and Crumple Family Mystery. So we don't know the ending yet. I don't know yet, but I think if this one actually does come out in the future, if someone really just like changes the name and into the ending, like what happened to Wylan B and Olivia, so eventually we don't know yet and i don't want to give out any more spoilers okay but this is just the beginning and i'm so sorry for you guys if i really had to do this video but we're not too sure when i'm able to do the the, the second third and fourth part and the ending maybe i'll do that one after the exam is over but anyways guys i think that could be all for now and this is just only part one because of this what i'll just say is the introduction was the custom worker with Wylan B and Olivia were actually at the job fair, and then he gets a notification on the phone. The chicken war starts, Papa leaves, and they have to get to work. But anyways, I think that's all for now. This is me, signing off.